Paul Mall. A good clean smoke. What's going on? Ooh. Welcome to Late Late Horror Show. <clears throat> yes, this uh, episode is brought to you by Paul Mall, and we'll explain why in a little bit here. Steve's uh, a big smoke. <laughs> smoking it up, but uh, he can't yeah. quit now. He's hooked. <laughs> we we have um, hideous 1997 uh, moon, full moon Charles Band entertainment full moon feature you Charles want Band in a movie. Yeah, and you know what I realized with this movie? This is everything you realize in a movie. Everything you want in a movie. You got freaks, you got females with... Oh, we'll talk about Sheila in a minute. Uh, oh, Sheila. Sheila. Oh. Sheila. You go. Um, yeah, it's got everything you want, but you know what I realized? Um, what? There's, there's the 80s full moon, which yeah. is fantastic. Top of the line, I think. Greatest. Then you got this kind of '90s version of, of late of full 80s, moon. early '90s was was peak. But but they got their own like kind of form <clears throat> of um you know the the way the movies are by generation a uh, decade or whatever is mm-hmm. they've they've got their own flavor, you know because you go to the 2000s then you got this kind of different flavor to the full yeah, moon. You've got a different. Flavor, I like them. Right? I mean they they seem to capture. The flavor that they're looking for for the decade, and then the new movies, of course, which if are I could work for any you know, movie fantastic. company, Suburban Cowboy in the YouTube chat. What is up, Ronnie? T-shirt uh, is off, Dino, as usual. You know, Rock and Ronnie. I came um, over here, yeah. and this guy's got the heat on. Well, you know, it's, it's there's a heater over there, and he's got it on. Yeah, let's not talk about the heat. Because I would I was hot. not only should I be taking my shirt off, yeah. I should be taking my pants off. Well, you. Do I'm not wearing you any want. underwear. You know, suns out, buns out. Do whatever you want, but hideous. 1997, uh, another... Dropping drawers. You know, you know, the greatest thing about this movie, really, is... Um, Jacqueline she, Lavelle. I was going to say Sheila. She's this... And you got to check her out. She's... Um, I'm not sure what other stuff. I should have checked her IMDb, but... Head of the family, buddy. Head of the family. Oh, the fam- that's right. And another I full moon feature. She's supposed to be in the sequel coming up. Really? Okay. Yes. Okay. Very excited. Well, she in this movie. Because actually in Head of the Family, yes. I thought she was pretty damn funny. Really? Okay. You know, I mean, we did that. Yeah. If you've seen that movie, she's actually kind of funny in it. Apart from being cute, she's funny. Is she really? Yes. Here, let me put that there. I'm just taking Just to show you know, it's things. not all about, you know, yeah, there TNA. We go. There we go. Um, I like that, see? Just uh, Big moving around me. the... Uh, yeah, and then I'll get... Is now the time, time to do this? What's it? We are live. Uh, we are. Uh, live like listen, a suicide. Audience of one. Listen, Sheila... Uh, the first sign we see of Sheila in this, she's, she's got this gorilla mask on, but we'll talk <laughs> about it in a second. But the rest of the movie, she's got this leather jacket kind of thing. That I have one of those. Where they taped it like real close to her, like, you know, bazong is it. Oh my God! Unbelievable shape. But anyways, we'll, we'll get to. Uh, it's, it's an interesting costume choice. I I, I approve. Yeah, but the mo- but the movie, uh, hideous, nineteen ninety seven. Yes. Um, you know, middle of the road, full full moon um, feature. It's you know, it's some, it's some gooey little monsters. It's about these. I was a bit confused. But people that collect these. What are they, what do they call them? Biological oddities. Y- I don't know. We we we're never privy to where they come from. Well, no. How, how they they open up with the sewage plant. Well, the sewage. Okay, that's where the current one is found in the sewage. Yeah. Plant. Well, and he he says the he one worker it. there that they all come from. This is where he finds it. Well, what does he say? He says, but like when he finds that when he goes, I'll take care of it. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it, it's part of. He, he's dealt. I with take this, care of them. Yeah. He, he, I take care of them, which means. There's been more. He's so, dealt with it before. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to presume they don't all come from the sewer. And, mm-hmm. I mean, are they Which makes aborted you... fetuses or something? Well, that's or... what I was wondering. Because, I mean, it's a sewage. It doesn't say toxic <clears throat> waste anywhere. But, uh, Felix, Raiders AK, uh, don't drop. Uh... Don't drop trowel. <laughs> um, it's a family yeah, yeah. show, right? Guns and Roses. 
uh, live like a suicide. Live like but listen, a suicide. Listen, I, I, I don't know what they are in the actual, you know, aborted fetuses, uh, you know, deformed creatures that... I don't know, man. I don't know. Your kid's science project that went wrong. My, yeah, whatever they are, they Flush come... Flush it down the commode. You know, this, this yeah, this guy Bawoosh. finds... <laughs> Ew, it's horrible. Bawoosh. <laughs> I don't like this one. Oh, no, man. I was married with children when he wanted the big toilet. Yeah. Oh, whoosh. Oh, my God. Al Bundy. <laughs> Al Bundy. Oh, whoosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, 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 yeah, they're, um, you know, whatever, man. They're, they're aborted, whatever. When I was a kid, but, we had a good toilet. But, well, we, you yeah, put we, anything in there, poof, I got it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Nothing was coming back up. No. Oh, I got it. Well, you had to get a toilet that has like you know how the ring is about pencils, in five there. inches at least. You know enough for a five inch long. Oh no, I need a diameter about oh yeah. Well, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. You have you get your certified from uh, what's it Iceland? I think it is mm-hmm. where they they have like ten inch piping going uh, down. Uh, Icelanders they are known for their because all the you know, seal blubber. You know it's it's builds like, up like loaves of bread shoots out like a. Uh, and they come out real slick too because of because of the. She's out like content. a hideous creature from from the Maybe mother. Maybe that's where they come you know? from. But yeah, they they uh, get found, and there's this middle person uh, named uh, what's what's her name? Belinda Yost. She set, she's got this business set up. Works for a medical whatever she calls some it. kind of lab. Yeah, yeah. She company. Yeah. And if you got a deformed little. Fetus or creature right. or you life to, form, you, go to, you, go, to you go to Belinda Yost, who's actually pretty foxy. But I mean, she's just oh, sucking down Pall Malls. The she entire is movie. sucking down cigarettes like there's no. I mean, even when she's not smoking so and she's talking, you can mm-hmm. see smoke coming out of her mouth. No, no, Ted. <laughs> yeah, right. But I don't think she puts a cigarette down the whole movie. No, nah, I mean, so, for some it's reason, it's like when she's in normal conversation, just just smoke. Is nonstop out of her cigarettes mouth. in. The frickin' hand and smoking nonstop. And it was the only thing that really kind of got me with her. Uh, You 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 didn't see uh, Jacqueline Lavelle doing that, though. Oh, my God. Keeps her lungs pink. Oh, Sheila. Yeah, she was was something else. Again, go catch her out on... Head of the Family. Head of the Family is the best movie she ever did. And that's a fantastic movie. If you want a little freaky creature in a wheelchair, I mean, that's, that's... That's... Full Moon I mean, Gold. Yeah, uh, Head of the Family's Full Moon gold. gold. Which is why the Deadly Ten, which they're making ten more, uh, Blade, oh. the Iron Cross, just came and got released. But uh, How do I see that? Bride. Do I, do I have to subscribe To again? Full Moon, yeah. I yeah. subscribed before. Do I but subscribe Bride before? of the Head of the Family, I am really looking forward to, man. Yes. Because that was, I that's can... been a long time coming. Oh, I mean, yeah. they've even had like a little action figure, little statuette. Years of her ago. For yeah. years. So it's like we it, it's been a big goddamn tease for a decade. Yeah, and I hate the teasing. I know, man. That's I mean, it's going to be that's going to be a, a big f- nut bust when if, that movie if she drops. If uh, Jacqueline did a, a full movie teasing us. Well, this movie kind of was a big tease with her. I thought she was fine. I thought again, she I, from beginning to end, she just teased us. I know the she, entire she's time. pretty, but I mean, she's also. I mean, I think she acts pretty at, damn good. I well, mean, out of the, group, I thought it was funny when she kidnaps the dude, and and st- well, we'll get to it. But. Yeah, out of the group of people that are in this movie, she's probably the best, better best actress, a, best actor, actor yeah. out of the whole yeah. lot of them. And, and there's only really what. It's about half a dozen people, maybe. Yeah, six people in the whole movie, really. I mean, that's about it, you know, but... So they get these biological things, and this dude that's, you know... Is this really somebody's job? Well, like, at, at sewage plants, to just take these nets and just go back and sure, forth? Sure, back and forth. I mean, and do they really get to just keep what they found? It's like, oh, look, five bucks! Yeah, <laughs> Are I, you really going to grab that? I wouldn't. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the main intake, I guess, where it all, all that comes wavy in. Gravy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty gross. Yeah. Uh, uh, Suburban Cowboy YouTube channel. Never seen this movie. Um, you can see it on uh, Tubi. That's, Tubi that's TV. How, I mean, I had seen it before. Yeah, lots of um, yeah, actually. Maybe when was it? Maybe a year ago or so. Whenever the Full Moon Channel. Yeah. Uh, first went up. I subscribed. Um, I did. A, I did a month to month. I pretty much watched 
nothing but full moon movies, and I watched pretty much everything that I wanted to watch that yeah. I hadn't seen. Right. That was one of them. Yeah. And then after I watched everything, it's like, okay, well, I'll, I'll cancel. And, you know. Yeah. Now, yeah. evidently, i got to resubscribe if I want to see Blade and all these others. I didn't... I, I was hoping I guess, like, I don't be see on it. it. I don't see it anywhere else. I was hoping it would be on like Amazon or you know maybe my uncle would get me a copy or something or they'd put them out on Blu-ray at the same time because I'd probably just buy it to have it for my collection. Felix, he says, what if it was a hundred dollar bill? It depends, man. I mean, <laughs> it it it's it's it just, still would be soaked in like crap and you urine stick your hand and in whatever all that else. feces and urine. As I said, the maybe, wavy gravy. Maybe bring it out and you you can wash bills, man. You can wash bills. I mean, yeah, but put what it are you going to do with it for the rest of your shift? Put it in your lunch pail? I mean... Get a glove, you know? Put, those put guys, it, I don't think we're using gloves. Put it in a dirty sock and wash it that way. Yeah, maybe. You know? Yeah, the, you can't pass up a $100 bill. But anyways, they're... Uh, yeah, they got nothing I wouldn't do for $20. They look like pool cleaning guys, you know, that have, you know, way past their prime. and They, <laughs> they had a prime? They, <laughs> <laughs> they moved. You out. had a prime, Mick. What about my prime? <laughs> yeah, re- remember when you were cleaning out pools and you were you were checking out chicks down in L- Las Vegas and what about yeah, my prime, you know, Mick? <clears throat> Man. Rocky, Rocky. What about yeah, my? Was, you had a prime. That's an awful Burgess Meredith uh, accent. That's not. That's Rocky saying that to Mickey. That's an awful Rocky impersonation. <laughs> Better than anything that you can do. Old oh, Rock. Yo. Oh, yeah, yo. Well, that's what he says. He's okay, yelling yeah, it at the time. Yeah, anyways. Don't yeah, get me fired up. Don't get fired up. <laughs> so these these elderly pool boys, um, they're, they're yeah. you know, yeah, they clean out the sewage for, and, you know, and the one body comes up. He, well, I guess it's I, better than being a jizz mop. Yeah, let's get past that. Let's get to Belinda oh, Yost's office. I'll focus office. on that, like a laser beam. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so he takes it, puts it in a case, you know, and looks around. There's nobody working at the place. He's kind of by himself. Now there's Mitch taking a pile of shit. Yeah, he's taking shit home there. Uh, But he's uh, he takes uh, evidently Belinda Yost. She's in control of this business. She started. Wonder how much she pays him. Who? Oh, what's the guy's name? Marvin. I don't know what his name is. What did she say on the phone? I think she said twelve thousand five hundred dollars. Did she say that? Because I don't remember. She said exactly twelve thousand five hundred dollars. That's a day's pay. Well, for him, yeah, for him, that's a damn good day's pay. But she ends up trying to sell it to, uh, there's two people, okay? There's Dr. Lorca, mm-hmm. who's some kind of Greek or, I don't know, he's got some weird... What do you got against the Greeks? He's got a weird accent. I like gyros. He's got a weird... I like gyros, too. Well, I love gyros and hot sauce. But he's got some weird accent... Okay, you can't tell what nationality he is. But he kind of is wearing a magician's outfit. He's, he dresses fancy. He's a fancy yeah, lad. A, a cape, right? I don't know if there was a cape involved. Was but there a I cape could see him wearing a cape. Oh, was he... Maybe he was a lawyer. Was he European? Well, he was European. Uh, European, the lawyer. Yeah, he's My a, lawyer, he's uh, European. He's, he's European. <laughs> he, Seinfeld. He went in Hungarian and to the bathroom to. and he came out a European. <clears throat> Wait, a Hungarian is a European. He went in a Japanese. He came out a European. You know what I mean? But anyways, um, there's him. And so, then... but this is the guy that he's got first rights, first dibs, supposedly. First refusal. Yeah, first refusal. And I'm, he pays for that privilege. Yeah, millions, evidently, or whatever. I don't know how much money's involved, but yeah, he yeah. pays when she gets something, some blob of shit. It's gold, Jerry. It's gold. That he gets first crack at looking at it and deciding if he wants it. Yeah. She decides for some reason I to want double it. cross him. Bring it. What? She decides for some reason, Belinda, to double cross him and yeah. offer it to this <laughs> other douchebag that collects this stuff named so, uh, Napoleon Lazar, who she calls Nappy the whole movie. She calls him nappy, yeah. Don't We're not going to discuss the fact that he's a black guy, but... Yeah, I don't know. That's very uh, racist if he called him nappy. She called him nappy because of that. Um, but who knows? I don't know. Uh, that's the nickname she gives him. But he's the other collector mm-hmm. in this whole thing. Um, so well, it's oh, between... Oh, her secretary. we got to do her. Well, it's so the whole bidding that. is between those two characters. Dr. Lorca. There's no the, bidding? The European... No, 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 bitch. Well, I mean, she's yeah. sneaking behind Lorca's back. And uh, Napoleon doing. Lazar. And Lazar, I thought the name came from um, 
I thought the name came from um, Bob Lazar, who was a UFO guy back in Still 97. Is. Still B- is. Kind of a broken story <clears throat> uh, in 1997. So I thought that's it. Pages, Films, and Plastics. What an incredible, incredible, awesome setup there, buddies. Wow. Nice Too bad we can't to have a you stop bit by, more. Pages. Wide screen, there's there's more. I can't. Not everything fits in all the edges. I mean, but. it's as wide as I can get with this camera thingy, but what, I can right. back it up way more. Ah, oh, it's all right. But then we'd be little objects oh, no. in the whole set, and uh, but it should make us look like toys. So so we got <clears throat> so we got Belinda Yost who's in control of this whole thing, yeah. and we got we we got Doctor Lorca and Napoleon Lazar who are the two collectors. Right. Then we got this blonde bimbo. The, the secretary, uh, Alvina. Who's not bad herself. Not my type. But. Didn't think when, so. Um, yeah. Once Belinda. Belinda. Here's what this is. She gets very excited. Carlisle. Belinda Carlisle from the Go-Go's. Here's about this. She gets excited. Kind of looks She's like She's going to go meet this guy, Mitch or whatever. Whatever the hell his name Mitch is. Mitch McConnell. He's going to go meet, meet him in the, in the basement somewhere in the parking garage or Ooh. something. I don't know where they meet. What are they going to do Someplace down there? Someplace cold. I think there's a mattress down there. They just get it on. Yeah, whatever. Isn't, isn't that what it's happens? Mattress and whips. The rats walk, rats flying by, and yeah. And uh, she tells Elvina whatever. I don't remember what she tells her, but um, what I remember most is that she's sipping a soda with a curly straw that yeah. has Tweety Bird on it. Oh, yeah, I so, didn't even notice. That. It has a little Tweety Bird from didn't Looney notice Tunes, that. which I really liked. And, but but uh, she's a, she's a dumb she calls, secretary. She's got a little. Do you like how they're, do you like how they're they're texting back and forth on this computer? Nineteen ninety seven. Yes, on a big. Piece I'm on the screen. phone. I'm on the phone right now. Do not let him call. And she's typing it in it's this the big. The nineties. You know, box. Hell, cell phones were this big. Yeah, but I know. But still, it was kind of <laughs> or a funky. Bag, or maybe you had a bag phone. Funky. You know, oh, what was on the bag. Mm. Yeah, no, that was, it was a little a good, weird. Yeah, roaming. Yeah, free roaming. Yeah, free Oh, my God. We can we can make a, a long-distance call on this thing, man. But uh, she's got a little side scam where she's supposed oh, to let him, let yeah. Dr. Lorca know if she's going behind his back. So she calls him up, says, yeah, there's there's this asset. There's You know, she's showing it to, you know, Nappy. And um, <laughs> Napoleon Lazar. Oh, that's probably why she calls him Nappy because his name's Napoleon, not because yeah, he's Nappy, black. Napoleon. I there you go, black. Napoleon Lazar. Um, yeah, so she's got some deals set up with boy. Him. You could tell that I'm older. <laughs> See, cause that's where my mind goes first when you say that word. Yeah, <laughs> you have some issues. So Napoleon Bonaparte. I forgot it. Lazar. Who, because they never call him Napoleon. They called him Napoleon like two times in the whole movie. Huh. Otherwise, they call him Lazar. I yeah, forgot. she does. She, yeah, she mostly says Lazar. Because <clears throat> I think after filming started, they had to keep the name. But uh, the one guy was, um, he, he kept having flashbacks to the war. Which war? Napoleonic Wars. Oh, man. It was a long time ago. Yeah, the 50s. Poor guy. We That's how they get the, a leg blown off. Isn't that how the islands were taken off? Well, he kind of remembers his uh, past lives. Hmm. So, wish I could remember some of mine. Me too. One of them's got to be better than this one. Some tells me I was a, a tramp in one of my past lives. You're a tramp now. If you weren't married, you'd be an even bigger tramp. <laughs> What's that got to do with anything? Okay. Oh. Um, so I'd be a tramp and I'd be a slut. So where are we at with this? Tramp. Well, um, oh, Sheila she tells uh, uh, Lorca. Napoleon Lazar, <laughs> well, Lorca, what's going on? Yeah. Oh, so Lorca, he's gonna be, yeah, so Lorca. he's going to be aware, yeah. and he knows Lazar. He knows, you know, they're sort of. He does. They, they roam in the same circles. Yeah, they've taken baths together. <sighs> Probably bubble baths. So they're, Remi- they're, they're, don't you remember seeing the on the. As he's going through the castle in the back bathtub there, there's a Mr. Bubble, the pink box. Well, that was Sheila's bathroom. Oh, I'm that's damn right, right. she's okay, using Mr. Right. Bubble. Calgon. Why did they she's take that out? She's probably got a little CD player with Dark Side of the Moon Why on did it? they take that out of the movie? I don't know. See, I mean, can nobody you imagine, knows how to make a goddamn Can you imagine movie? silky, smooth, shiny bubbles I all mean, over yes, Sheila? that's the movie. You know, you take the bubble bit, that's the movie. Yeah. I gotta, That's what I'm saying. You know, I gotta straighten people out. Yeah, straighten them out. <laughs> do what you gotta do. That's the movie. 
That could be the trailer and the movie. So, who ends up getting the... Um, oh, we're, we're in the, the basement. Creature the, the sewage worker guy, he's got the, the assets. She's already kind of seen it. Lazar shows up, and then they make this... In, there's this interesting exchange between them. Yeah, yeah. She says... I mean, she's so sure that he's going to want this. That uh, she says something to the effect of, you know, once you see this, yeah. you're going to give me a cashier's <laughs> check for $650,000. <laughs> Plus, you're going to sign this contract to buy $250,000 worth of specimens from me every year yes. for the next 10 years. And he's just like, now why would I do that? Right, and, right. you know, as soon as he opens it up, he's just, all right, get on the phone. Yeah. Oh, Fritz, go go, yeah, go he, to my he, bank. Get, you know who to talk to. He freaks <laughs> out. And, Check. and I think the out of the two guys, uh, you know, Doctor Lorca and Napoleon Lazar, uh, I think Napoleon Lazar is the one that really cares. He he wants them for a better reason than Lorca does. Well, that's what he says well, what to get think? them, right? To try to coax them once yeah. the shit goes down. Yeah. But uh, you know, it, oh, bye. it, it oh, happens bye. exactly as Belinda yeah. says. Yep, and uh, signs the paper, gives the sewage guy his cut, yep. and he's gone. We never see him again. Got that cut, and uh, so now he's got his specimen in a in a cooler, <laughs> in an igloo, <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. and uh, he's gonna go. Uh, he's he's driving off, and this is where one of my favorite parts of the movie. What is yeah. this piece of fish fillet? I think. Oh, um, what the hell did you eat mm-hmm. before you came over here? I said piece of fish fillet. Fish fillet. <laughs> For McDonald's? Oh, uh, maybe. Oh, okay. Maybe well, not. Okay. Um, I don't want people to know where I, you know, <laughs> frequent. <laughs> you're, you're a frequent McDonald's. Oh, no. Every time you go through the drive, hey, it's Teddy. Hey, it's Teddy. What's day. going on, hey, man? man? How you doing? A fish fillet, eh? Right. right. <laughs> In a, in a large chocolate shake. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it. I already got it in the bag for you, man. <laughs> oh, my God. So, Napoleon Lazar, uh, he, he takes the, gives the millions. I guess the Hundreds dude's, of thousands. guess the dude's dollars. really rich and uh, takes the millions, <clears throat> uh, takes the creature or whatever in, in the thing. They don't show it yet. Right. We haven't um, seen any of these things. Not, it drives off with it, okay? Yes. Uh, to his private estate. Uh, Where which he has a private road. Road, yes. And, and when he goes to turn down his road, there's a car blocking the way. And some bodies kind of hanging out of there. And, and he goes, man, this is my private road. Private this road. is my private road. And, um, yeah, yeah, There's uh, he ends up getting out of the car. You know... For being that rich, millions of dollars. That car. He's got that car, and nobody's riding well, with him. It's probably Charles Band's car. No, probably. It's like, here, just take my keys, man. He's just like, here, man. You take think the Civic. The, <laughs> you think you think the castle was was his? Probably. It was filmed in Romania. So it, it should have been. So yeah, I mean that's probably his castle. I mean, I a lot of the location I don't know shoots. Where but, I mean, his castle. I don't know if it's Italy. I don't know if it's Romania. Yeah. I don't know, okay, but they maybe. filmed that on location in Romania. I don't. I know. And, and I know that's the lurk- where they've done subspecies and other stuff. Uh, Lurking fear. Cheaper. It's yeah. it's cheaper, and plus they made relationships with the crews there. From I made relationships subspecies, with so, the crews. Yeah, so they have a working relationship. So they have done quite a few movies out there yeah. for that reason. Right. Right. You wouldn't think you know flying all that shit to. Romania would be cheaper, but I guess maybe it is. I don't know. Yeah, this guy is he a Greek or what? But no. Hey, um, who knows? But in the car, yeah, is um, our first a topless mm, woman wearing a gorilla mask. Of all things, yeah. Oh, and by the way, it's cold. It's snow. Yeah. It's and it's not fake snow. It's real. It's snow. real snow. Yeah. They made that poor girl. That go poor topless. girl. Why did she have to be topless? She didn't have to be. Well, the whole scene. I mean, maybe if she wanted to get paid. But there was no reason that she had to be. I think she likes to. She mentions it later on when she's kind of dressed the way she is at the castle. I guess. But, I mean, yeah. I mean, what other reason would she go? I mean, it's a full moon. And she's kind of funny. Kind of movie. Got the, yeah. All right, big guy. And she's talking in like a gruff voice. <laughs> well, he asked her, too. He's like, why are you, why are you, why are you topless? 
And she uh, she said something like I can't I, remember what she said. Yeah, but something like to the lines of why <laughs> why can why not? I mean, I don't, <laughs> why not? You know. But yeah, and she, she ends up taking him, um, and handcuffing his arms behind a tree. Yeah, shame and, on her. And he's getting you know, he, he, and he she goes over to the car, and he's like, "Here, you can get my wallet. I got money." You know. No, she takes the cooler, and that's when he starts to, you know, shit a brick. There's nothing in there that you want. It's a biological specimen. It's contagious. He paid a lot of money for it, I'll give you money for it. You know, and she takes that, gets in the car and drives away. And, you know, he's speaking all proper and everything, but then a little bit of the ghetto comes out because he calls her, You ho! A little bit of it comes out. A little bit of the old school comes out. He calls her ho. (laughs) You ho! (laughs) <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's yeah, that's kind of funny, and he's, and, he's stuck. To and the evidently, tree, he man. says that uh, he was out there for fourteen hours. Wouldn't he have died? Fourteen? Well, he said like when they they hire a private. I don't detective. think it was that frozen. I mean, it, still exposed. I didn't even see nothing. Hours? I didn't even see nothing. He had a coat a coat on and stuff what like if that. What did he pee? Pee your pants. Disgusting. But yeah, she takes it and she rides it off to uh, Doctor Lorca. His uh, his castle, his his place. Now, he's got a castle that he physically had torn down in Germany and had moved wherever he lives. Who? Charles Doctor Lorca. Oh, Doctor Lorca. Oh. No, he says that in there you know, oh. later on in the movie that oh. he had it transported. Yeah. How can you do, imagine people that do that? Have a castle taken completely apart, shipped over somewhere, and rebuilt? Yeah. No. The fuck. It's a big <laughs> undertaking. Yeah, it's quite a large. How long does that take? Um, well, I mean, I'm not really looking for an answer. Two saying. years, maybe. Yeah. Long time. I guess so. But, but yeah, he he's got this uh, castle. He he. She brings in the creature, gives it to him as like kind of this present, you know. Yeah. Like, hey, here, man. I, and I she destroys the evidence, the cooler, and everything else. In so. an acid. What every house needs is a good acid pit. Yeah, it was an acid hidden, pit. Yeah. You know, just you know, in case you need to... Little trap doors with that, yeah. Get rid of some evidence. It's stuff fantastic. Shit you don't want the cops to find. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it's not a bad castle, not a bad house. So he puts his little... Now we finally get a little look at the collection, and it's like... It's, it's really weird, too, how It's he, just some... looks like malformed people. Or creatures. It's, they're actually kind of hard to describe because you never get a serious, real good look at them. Some of them have spines. Yeah. The one that he just got has two sets of eyes, one on top of the other, and two mouths, one on top that of the one's, other. That one's, yeah. Th- that's, that's the one that yeah, yeah. he just stole. Really freaky. And when she when she gives it to him, she, she's like, do you want to be alone with it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He goes, yeah, just bring me the preservative. You the know, preserve. to put it. preserves the, the uh, smuckers. Yeah, yeah. He preserves. He wipes it all over the deformed, you know, you whatever have it is. Some. But yeah, yeah, when you think Are about you a it. Are you strawberry or a grape man? Grape. When it comes to jelly. Grape oh, grape, jelly. Yeah, yeah. Grape jelly, me too. Grape je- goober with grape and peanut butter. Now, okay. Eat that with a spoon out of the jar. Now, see, that, yes. Yeah. My wife mm. always thinks I'm crazy. Fantastic. Because every time I have a little thing, whenever I take a, a like, a two Thanks for showing up! Whenever I take People. A, yeah. Oh, yeah, um... One, two, three. We got somebody. We're not as go, big as some of those go other ahead, shows. Go but, ahead. You know, we, we care. What, what Your wife did what? Oh, well, like whenever I have a vacation. Yeah. You know, when I'm on like two weeks vacation or whatever, a couple times a year. Yeah. I, uh, I like to buy a jar of goobers, and that's my snack for a couple of days. Right. Yeah. And she always thinks it's odd. Why do you eat it out of the jar? And I'm like... Well, if you just take it and put it on bread, it's just a sandwich. Yeah. If you eat it out of the jar and it's get a that dessert. Taste, it's, it's a beautiful dessert. I don't... I, I would never put that on bread. It's I can make a peanut butter and jelly you sandwich. Get, you get the perfect... I could do that at home. Why would I go to a store? Perfect to amount market, of grape and peanut butter. Put on a mask and and, <laughs> and go to Piggly Wiggly <laughs> put on a mask. And, and buy a jar of goobers yeah. to put it on bread. I hear you. See, that's the difference between men and women. They just don't get it. That's just heaven and bliss eating that right out of the jar. So from Those perfect, like you said, that perfect ratio. Heavenly goobers to, okay, he's he's almost kissing the jar with the head in it. Well, that's what I do with the jar of goobers. I kiss yeah, it. Kiss it, yeah. yeah. 
But um, it's got to be grape, not the strawberry. And she, and and she, he wants to be alone with it. She goes, "Do you want to be alone?" You know, like kind of. No, no, weird. It's always men and their collections. Well, yeah. You, you, you never know. see women collecting anything, really. Yeah, they do little what? Little what are little moments and stuff. <laughs> But, but they don't. What is that, the 70s? But they don't <laughs> treat their collections the way men treat their collections. Everybody's got their own kind of thing they collect. You know, like, like if you collect records or like, things would like we that, ever scrapbook? Or comic books or something like that. You go through, you look I mean, at them. Um, yeah, 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 just Okay, we're getting off the movie here. Well, Let's, everything we're talking about is better than the movie. Yeah, kind of. But, um, yeah, yeah, no, no. Um, so, so there's the. Are well, you afraid we're gonna lose them? <laughs> so there's the jar. <laughs> so there's the jar right there, and a couple other ones right next to it. And one is this like, looks like a regular size, like almost like pinhead, but like dipped in an acid bath. You okay. know, with no clothes. One looks like a bird. porcupine, half yeah. human, half porcupine. Oh, they all look like friggin' golems. And that's funny. <laughs> that's funny when a little bit later. When, well, okay. What happens? Uh, where how they all get like become alive? Kind of the that one that they bring in is kind of living. He's got yeah. They show him opening his eyes. He's got some little tentacles that yeah. Pop they out of pop the jar. out and pop the tops and go into the other ones and I, kind of he uh, re revitalizes them in yeah, some way. I, I'll revitalize you. I'll revitalize. Uh, Facebook uh, comment. Y'all seen Demon House? Have I seen Demon House? Have you? I haven't seen... Mike's fiance's house? Yeah. yeah seen seen, <laughs> Ted's seen a demonic I've house seen, before. Seen no, demon. I haven't seen Demon House. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a full moon or what it is. Let me know what Demon House is because I've never heard of it. I can't recall. But, um, and a lot of times I'll remember a movie. Sometimes, you know, if it didn't stick, it's not one of my favorites, I might not always remember it's not a favorite of yours, obviously not. No, um, we're gonna meet Leonard here in this movie in a second. Actually, he's on the screen right there. Um, Lazar, and uh, he he gets uh, Belinda back in the mix. Well, what's those tentacles do? They go in there and kind of like I said, slowly make them bring them back, bring bring them them to life, life, I guess. But but yeah, and then we go to Private Dick. They don't give a whole big scientific explanation. Private Dick, that, Leonard. And Charles it, Band ain't got that kind of time. And I think this Private Dick that we're introduced to, Leonard, um, I think this was his only role. Well, would you do another movie after this? I would. Oh, maybe he had a bad experience. He had something, but, I mean, who knows what maybe happened to him. he thought it was going to be a whole different this thing. This was his one and only movie, and I tell you what, he acted like he was a terrible actor. I'll put that. Yeah? Yeah? Um, Terrible. Ah, ha, ha, ha. It's really good. Ever seen Ghost Adventures? His documentary about this demon house. Amazon Prime has it. Um, no, I'll, I'll take a peek. Yes. Uh, go- I got Amazon Prime. I'll take a peek. Ghost Adventures is... Uh, I, I like the show. It's good. I like those paranormal shows like that. Uh, but we are talking full moon features. We're talking Hideous, 1997. Uh, and it's a fantastic movie. It's not really. It's it's maybe halfway there. It's an okay movie. It's an okay movie. Yeah. There, there's a couple things in it that save it. Mostly there. But the private dick <laughs> is there with Sheila, right? Yeah. She, uh, she, no, Sheila's not there. Uh, Lazar is oh, not there. Sheila. Alvina. Laz- yeah. The secretary. Everybody. Because they're trying to figure out. But Sheila. How? Right. L- they 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 they're, they're circumventing the police and obviously yeah. because they don't want the police to know even though they, they describe it you know what we're doing what we collect the circles we go in it's not exactly illegal but yeah. it's it, you don't want to draw attention to it killer clowns from outer space is way up there great film facebook chat fantastic blu-ray uh, from arrow have, yes have to agree with you have there, to, but... i love my blu-ray of that yeah. movie um and we did a really cool show of it Ages ago, even commentary, wore, on even wore clown noses. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> um, I went to the store special. Yeah, I went to the store special. Yeah, yeah. but um, but fantastic. So they're trying yeah. to find um, who took it. First of all, I mean, Lazar suspects Lorca well, th- right off the bat. Well, yeah, but how yeah. did he know about it? And that's what they can't figure out. That there's a there, there's a rat in the house. Well, and they bring in the only other person is Sheila. Right, and the private the eyes dumb one. Okay, what about secretary? Her? And and. You know, Belinda can't believe that that she would do that because she's dumb as a box of rocks. And, and Leonard starts to interrogate her, uh, and using the old cop with, tricks. Well, 
Not, not. To, I mean, you didn't have to break her down too, uh, too hard. It took maybe thirty seconds, and mm-hmm. and she she broke down. Well, she he actually done. accuses her of something worse, and she's like, "Nuh-uh. All I did was." And then she stopped. <laughs> and I look, because she does that kind of crap throughout the whole movie. Yeah. Nuh-uh. Uh, yeah, no, no. She's overacting her Nuh-uh. dumbness. And that movie. reminds me, do you yeah, remember yeah. the time we, we used to go to, we used to hit up flea markets a lot. Yeah. And um, the place where they Fun. had them, we had good times, usually Saturday mornings. And on the way home, there was like an indoor flea bazaar. It was always the same sellers, but they would get new stuff. And do you yeah. remember the time we went in there? And you saw something. I know you were kind of you were eyeing stuff up for eBay at the time when yeah yeah you know when you were able to make money on there yeah when and, eBay was big and whatever they were asking for it was way way too much yeah. and you tried to tell the lady that you're like there's no way this is worth this you know you know this you could only get whatever you and I just remember she went no uh <laughs> she did the same thing no uh. So who are you to tell me how much that's worth? Nobody's oh, they, going to buy this. They did that all the time, man. They, people they thought they had oh, gold and and they yeah. wouldn't accept anything less. This is a treasure. Yeah, yeah it's, and, it's, and it's you worth see million. Where that place is out of business now, but but oh, it was man. fun. You know, there was the guy that sold records. There was always the person that had little toys and you know things oh, like that. It was fun times, man. Stuff to look at. Loved you know, it. you could Loved spend it. all day in there. But but yeah, the, getting back to uh, you know breaking down Sheila. I mean not Sheila. Breaking uh, down Sheila. Oh, I'd like to break down Sheila, but uh, no, Alvina. What? How horrible! You're so sexist towards she's, my lady. She's beautiful. Alvina, mm-hmm. uh, it, it, like I was saying, kind of dumbs it up throughout the whole movie and ridiculously. Yeah, every time I mean, they have to go somewhere. Me too. <laughs> it's like I swear to God, I could have taken a group of people and found. A few that acted better than most that's, of these people. She acted the way Charles told her to act. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's what kind of best makes acting she does is when she's movies. got that creature under the blanket with her. I guess it's kind of what makes them. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's the best acting she does in the castle later on. But nobody um, seems to know what's yeah, going on. Yeah, in the castle later on when that happens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, they, what what they're going to do is they're going to th- figure out that it's. Um, Dr. Lorca and, and they do just got the does. creature, and they the, the private dick takes them all there. Straight up to his crib. Yeah. Go, <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, he lets him in. Yeah. And he, he says, come on in. I sure, got nothing sure. to hide. I look, they've got a cop with them. they got this person, that person. And they're accusing them and everything else and, and all kinds of hijinks. Uh, but he, he admits it. I mean, he, he calls He's, out uh, Belinda that uh, I had first... <laughs> I had right to first refusal of anything, so yeah. you double cross me, you broke our arrangement. Yeah. I'm not giving it up. Dan Breakers in the YouTube chat, he goes, um, you could throw sand and hit better people with, with lesser acting yeah. skills. Yeah. <laughs> You're Joel, you got that right, man. Um it is unbelievable these actors. But again, like Ted said, maybe Charles Band kind of Pushed them that way. He wanted that he, specific type of because man, I mean, even to this day, it's Charles Band, he can get anybody. Yeah, even to this day, he's he's his movies are known for just. He could have got Leonardo DiCaprio. Bad, like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so they bombard. Who's that this, Gary Busey? They bombard the castle, man, <laughs> and um, they're 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 accusing him of taking the creature and all this, and and, and then there's kind of this feud between. Uh, Lazar and the a magician co- a collector's Lorca, feud, yes. a collector's feud. He says, "You know, you're an amateur. I'm a serious collector." Yeah. And he, yeah, uh, yeah, Lorca right. says to him, "All right, go, go view my collection. Yeah. And if you find anything where your specimen is better than mine, yeah, I'll give it back to you." And he goes up. There. He must just send him to the side where it's like animals and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Not. The humanoid type, but yeah, because yeah. he comes back with this kind of like what, what's he come? Uh, it was some kind of he's clearly lime hot dog or something. Yeah, I mean it's a hot dog. It doesn't have a vertebrae. Popsicle stick sticking out of it. How is it possible <laughs> to not have vertebrae in there? Something like that, and, and um, you know, freaks out. They um, yeah, he, and puts he, the jar down. And, basically, and his, comments. Yes, you're my. You know, you win. Magnum. But he's like, let's see your human specimens. Which they are about to go see. Um, I can't remember what happens. Then. They can't afford DiCaprio's fee. What? Well, of course not. 
<laughs> well, they all... Um, he would do it pro bono. Well, <laughs> Dr. Dr. Lorca goes, um, tells him to come on. Yeah. He says, come on, let's, well, come let's on. go see. So he must have... He, he must not care to hide the fact that he's got that creature there. Because I was wondering, why is he taking them to see them when what was stolen is in that room? But he takes them there and opens the door and... Oh, well, my he God. admits you know, that he... That They're he, gone. Well, right, because they hear... Because we start to see something in the background. The, the, the creatures you? are coming out. Well, no, that they get out of the jar. Were you scared? No, not for a minute. And um, I'm a veteran, and uh, <laughs> he's a. Uh, they get through the heating of vents. the Napoleonic Wars, right? From the Napoleonic ah. Wars. I don't know. They hear a the noise. Boom, boom. I don't know whatever. But they start to realize that they're gone. They do. All right. Yes, they do. And oh, there's a nice little cat fight between Lazar and Lorca. Love a cat um, fight. Lorca bites Lazar's ear half off. Right. I like that. I like that. And um, oh yeah, the fight that ensues between the two. And he bites his hair off. Yeah, yeah. But but they find out that the creatures have gone. And, and he, at first, Dr. Lorca's like, that. you stole them. You stole Even them. though everybody was in plain sight the whole time. <coughs> but he, um, they, he sees the grate in the wall. And you could tell the slime or whatever water goes through well, there. They see there. some evidence of that. So they're wondering what's yeah. up. And, so, and did that grate go outside? No, it's just like the duct work for the, okay. the house. And That's what I thought. So what, But they're behind there, and, and from this point forward in the movie, when you see them, I mean, it's they're cool. They're always in shadow. Cool effects, but it's always in shadow, and they're sprayed down with as much baby oil as possible. That's right. Because that's how I like That's the, the ladies way I to like be. them. And, um, you know, baby, oh, yeah. and they're always... <laughs> And you just throw plastic everywhere in your room and That's just right. shoot it all over and just roll around. That's what I usually do. I put plastic all over yeah. the place and I just shoot it all over the room. It's a fantastic feeling. But um, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you turn and you turn the the. That's when you turn the um thermostat down to like fifty five. All right. Because when when things are harder and nipples and stuff, it, the, the oils are a lot better. Oh. The oils. The oils. Oh, oils. Um, where do we go? But oh, he ends up... Oh, no, uh, I was talking about the creatures. Oh, yeah, the creatures. They, they also make these, like, sounds, too. Like, <laughs> and evidently, they can one. understand each other. They they understand language. They well, can he put write. The, he put we'll the see later. They can use a crowbar. Are you looking for, like, some reason behind all of well, this? Well, I mean, I... Yeah. I, I'm presuming they're just blobs that haven't really I mean, lived. I'm, I'm wondering why the tentacles came out and were able to animate animate and bring to life Frankenstein style the other creatures. I mean, Frankenstein didn't know yeah. how to write and shit and no. use a crowbar. Right. I don't know. Yeah, they... But uh, he... Uh, yeah, see? Lorca has oh. Sheila. You know, she's packing oh, heat. Sheila. Take her. Sheila. She's the only one with a gun. That's right. A That's pistol. The way it should be. Pistol with that hun. Um, they're gonna lock everybody up, and and basically before he does that, it says, "I'm gonna tear this castle apart. I'm gonna find my babies." That's, That's how he so refers wrong. to them the rest of the movie. The babies. The babies. I'm going right to there. find my babies. Yeah, he's this. Like, and if you tell me where they are ahead of time, you know, better for you. He's beaten if, down. If I find them and they're not screwed with, yeah, better for you. But, you know, you're locked up in, in the meantime. So he locks them up in some crappy old broom closet or whatever. Yeah. So, uh, and sad. they can't break out of it. And he's got allergies, too. Oh, well, yeah. You know, there's so, probably black mold down there. Right, the broom and the dust. And, I mean, you broom know. and the dust. I like looking on the screen and I see the commercial from 2B TV. Oh, well, that's <laughs> nice. Yeah. It's Ultimate fantastic. Tag. Not a, not a great show. Tried watching it. <laughs> Which one? Ultimate tag. Nobody can win. I'm gonna watch those shows. Anyways, you um, got all these acrobats, monkey men, that can flip and jump over everything, and you got like some tubby ass guy like me trying to, you know, get away from him. So Lorca barely fit down the aisle. So Lorca with Sheila with the gun puts everybody in a, a yeah broom closet kind of although a it looks room. looks like a room. It's just a room. He locks them in. It's a room. And they they don't know how. Do you have a room? Uh, the the detective starts pounding a hole in the ceiling. Right, I was gonna say trying to bust out, but and I'm like, after the, the plaster comes down, it's solid wood. What the hell are you doing? Um, 
But uh, yeah, eventually they start hearing sounds and noises, and it's the creatures. And they're on the other side of the door. They and, don't know they're creatures, though. Right. They think it's other people that might be trapped, that might be being held prisoner. I thought I and thought so, they thought that it was the creatures after. No, not at first. Actually, they thought it might have been kids, especially when they saw the note. Because uh, okay. it's always like, you know, two knocks if you understand. And you know, you'll hear the little knocks. Yeah, yeah. And basically it all comes down to they're, they're trying to get out of the room. They, they instruct whoever's doing the knocking to go get a crowbar, put it in the jam, and get us out. And, and you how, see one of the little monsters. How one of the monsters were able to go, f- go off and find a crowbar is beyond me. I, I don't know how you would find a crowbar. But they find be able one. To carry it. I mean, the thing's this big. And uh, it can carry this crowbar. Love how we're getting a message from Facebook. <laughs> a totally different subject. Hey, that's okay. Uh, but that's all I've right. I've been known to go off on tangents. Um, what the, do they want to know? Facebook chat. Uh, what do y'all think about Rob Zombie's movie, uh, Rest in Peace, Captain Spaulding? What is that? A new movie coming out? I never heard of it, Ted. Did he do a documentary type uh, thing, Rest in Peace, Captain Spaulding? I haven't kept up with you, Mr. You, you, Zombie too much. I'm either. not sure Since if that's he's made like. Not sure if that's the title or what. But anyways, let's move on. Well, if, I think if there's Sid a title, Haig deserves a documentary. So yeah. if, if he's making one about Sid Haig, I, I would be all for it. Or yeah, if there's if another name to the movie you're referring to, yeah, or if he's made it, type I'll, it I'll in. watch it. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know. But yeah, yeah. Um, so the creatures end up um, crow, crowbarring and prying open the door. And, and, and the people on the inside don't help out whatsoever. No, no, they just stand. They're just standing there waiting for them to. to meanwhile, Only the that, smoking. Meanwhile, that one creature, yeah, smoking away. That creature's. <sighs> <laughs> the creature's frying <laughs> it open. And it plows open. Yep. And then you got now, now you got, they're freaking out. They're like, oh my God, what is that? Captain Spaulding is the clown in his movies. Oh, I understand that. I just thought. Uh... The way that it was described yeah. there it was I. Wasn't I can. Sure. Yeah, no, I. We can tell you. We know that Captain Spaulding is. That's like basic one hundred and one information for you, Rob you, Zombie. When you said you know movies rest in peace, Captain. Or if you just mean, what do you all think of Rob Zombie movies? Mm-hmm. And then you just said rest in peace, Captain Spaulding, because Sid Haig died. Maybe that's what it meant. Yeah, well, I'm not sure what the movie means, but yeah, not, but, but, no, uh, Rob Zombie is the director. Uh, Daybreak, Dan Breaker says, I wouldn't mind a spinoff film of the Captain. Well, Captain that's going to be kind of hard. Yeah. Um, that would be kind of hard. I'll, I'll just say what I've always a, said. Use and, a different character. And that's uh, that Lords of Salem is the most mature and interesting film he ever made. Rob Zombie. To date. Yeah. And I know a lot of people disagree because it didn't have any redneck hillbillies in it. Um swearing every other word Mm -hmm. but if you have watched any european horror films spanish italian yeah giallo type films uh, i love jello films or you know any any like jean rollin or stuff like that they're soft around the edges but you know i love stuff like you know daughters of darkness or any of the you know kinds of european films you'll know where he was coming from and what he was trying to do and i think visually that movie's awesome like, even just some of the stuff in the background, like uh, her end tables that just oh, light she, up. She just got end tables. No, oh, go ahead. And, and I'm talking Lords of Salem, the little end yeah, tables that no, light I up. I think and, a lot of Lords of Salem. Well, hey, you know what? If you don't... No, you know, it's a good... Yeah, it's it's not a good. It's it's um, the best. It's okay, the best he's capable uh, of doing. Facebook chat, he says, okay, good. I worked it really wrong in the sentence. House I, of a Thousand Corpses opinions. Um, Dan Breaker says use different actors of him growing up. That would be a cool idea, um, as long as they get the right characters to portray Captain Spaulding, right? I mean, I could see it happening. I think we should let Rob Zombie yeah. make the Groucho Marx autobiography film that he wanted to make. That would be fantastic. I think people need to stop hounding this poor man to make these stupid redneck hillbilly movies over and over and over. Because, all right, the last one sucked ass. Yeah. Sorry to anybody who liked it, but it sucked ass. Mm. Would you ever watch it again? No. Mm. You know, compared to like Devil's Reject, no. All right, it's a hunk of shit. Yeah, yeah. And he even you know, knows it's a hunk of shit. Even he knows it. <laughs> even he knows it. <laughs> I talked to the man. Yeah, yeah. And but he had the idea to do a a film about the last days of Groucho Marx, sort of like a 
a Sunset Boulevard type film where he's, you know, he's got his live-in helper, assistant, nurse, whatever, and and the crazy shit that he was going through in his his last days. That would be an interesting movie. I think only us would like that out of the people listening. No, watching. that would be a but good, that would be dark great movie. That would be great. But uh, anyways, um, on side. Being a rock star, he's a good director. He's got uh, a visual style. He's yeah, always had he's a visual style. He's certainly got style. his own style. And I think he'll go down with, you know, with he that. He just needs you know I mean? so. an opportunity to do something different. Yeah, time and he's not well. getting those opportunities, unfortunately. Or it's yeah. hard to get those opportunities. Yeah. You know, he's already pigeonholed himself as a horror director. Right. And, I, and we know damn well he had a hockey movie he wanted to do, uh, kind of like a, a biker flick. I mean, there's other yeah, stuff. Yeah, I want to see a Rob Zombie hockey movie. Anyways, well, I mean, so we've got so we've got them in in the room, and Maybe the creatures are at the door with it open, and behind them end, ends up coming comes up Doctor Laura, Lorca, and um, Sheila, and what's funny is they start going back and forth about you know capturing them and, and mm. taking them, you know, and, and who would get them, you know what I mean. And I, I like how, uh, you know, they pretty much buy, bribe uh, Belinda Yost, the one uh, that's smoking all the time. She goes, huh, I'll get him. And she takes this <laughs> this sheet and throws it over him and captures And that spine thing kind of shoots a porcupine thing. Pins she, in her ass. In her ass. And she does it. Ah, my ass. Just, it was a funny scene. And it's like you see all these pins like right in the side of her ass. And it was sure funny. as shit. Because earlier in the film, yeah. they, they said that she doesn't wear any underwear and she's always banging guys in her office and under that skirt. Yeah. Bare ass. Bare yeah. ass. But that was so funny. Uh, damn breaker. Zombie's visual style is rather unique, needless to say. Anywho, yeah, yep. uh, but no, um, yeah. So, so she's got the yeah, needles. Let's finish in this there. movie, and we'll talk about this stuff. She's got the needle. <laughs> she's got the needle. Yeah, we'll we'll talk more and more. Um, All right, movie's but, over. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we can get through the movie pretty darn quick. Ain't much here. left, really. I mean, yeah, it's almost we're almost done. They go to uh, you know, they're trying. They're the two doc. They go to Sheila's. Yeah, go ahead. Well, the two collectors are both trying to tempt. The yeah. others, you know, oh, I'll take care of you. I'll give you a gymnasium. I'll give you gourmet food. I mean, ridiculous stuff. Yeah, yeah. And uh, just, just who's going to go with who? Yeah, yeah. And they, and the uh, others are locked up in a room. And they go to Sheila's room. I like how I like how Napoleon Lazar uh, is is pulling the needles out of. Uh, yeah, they got. He's got her across Yost's his lap, butt. and poof. And there's a little, you know, entendre, yeah. you know, as they're talking there yeah. back and forth a little bit. She's, you know, little sexual innuendo going on there. You know, he's, he's de-piercing her ass. But yeah, let, let's get to, um, yeah, how's the, the end of this movie? It, it basically ends with the worst sword fight I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it was terrible. It, yes. Lorca and Lazar. They're fighting again fight, over who's you know, going to get him. I wouldn't call it fight. They, they go, boom. Okay, you swing next. Right. And, you know. and completely open. And when you're fighting swords, you don't try to hit the other person's sword. You try to hit the person. Yeah. And all they're doing is hitting each other's swords. Like going right. out of their way to right. hit each other's swords. Yeah. No, you try to stab them. Well, that's a bad um, uh, fighting sequence put it, together. It wasn't by choreographed. Or, choreographed. I don't think yeah. there was any choreography. It was probably I doubt just. It. Know, Charles just Band saying, swing the. Swing them. I mean, uh, come on. I mean, you're put, not, put a little you're not something Christopher to, Lambert over here. Put a little <laughs> bit of something together. Yeah, yeah. Right. You're not Sean Connery. There know. can be only one. Yeah, <laughs> forever. Oh, I think I threw my back out. Um, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. With my imaginary sword. <laughs> With my lightweight sword that's made out of air. Um, <laughs> So, but needless to say, they all end up. <laughs> what was that? I'm gonna spit water. They all end up in the room by the uh, acid pit, mm-hmm. and who goes over the acid pit? The uh, wooden before it, you know, the escape doors. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's his nuts? Well, while this is going, like, oh, uh, Belinda tries to get away. 
And she gets yeah. these these creatures, we forgot to mention, set up little booby traps in the house <laughs> rather quickly. <laughs> rather quickly, yeah. And but she Belinda gets else gets stabbed. It, yeah. I don't know what it is. Yeah, uh, yeah. Spikes through her and, and she's gone. And yeah. a little trail of smoke comes out of her mouth. And, yeah, so she's the first to get it. Yeah. And even, uh, what's her Sheila. name? Alvina. Uh, Alvina. Tries Why do to I get keep away. saying she, Sheila? And, Alvina. and stupidly, and as in every horror movie, you run upstairs. Yep, yep. And there's like a little tripwire and she just like falls off a balcony and... And boof. Yeah. Okay. And and the one Oh, but we got to talk about what happened before that. Yeah, in the room, the creature, the Alvina little Alvina was laying in the bed. And she was asleep. dreaming, and she was dreaming. And the, the one creature started dr- crawl somehow got in the room. Nobody saw. No, but and she it was under cr- the blanket. Yes, was crawling up the blanket and got to her boob which was a, which was exposed. They, they showed the whole it. boob and start, yeah, and it was slime like coming off of it and, and she's stuff making like that. all these Oh. Well, it was feeling oh. good I mean, for I mean, her. There's, was, everybody else was still in the room two feet away. No one's... Go- hey, what's, what's going on with what's Alvina? Going on over there? What's Alvina doing? Hey, leave her be. She's taking care of herself. I mean, you know, I'm telling I mean, you what, you can't do that to any woman and, and she not wake up. Well, she, I tried. Well, All right, but you that, tried getting her to start sucking a boob. Yeah, you're, you're getting an elbow to the lip. Well, yeah, they'll wake up. I'm yeah, sure. You'll get an elbow to the lip. Like, I got to work tomorrow. Oh, come on. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> come on. Come on. That's, well, that's what we say. You should. Come on. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. That, that was a really interesting part of the movie, I guess. To <laughs> say. Interesting. But, but, yeah, Lorca and um, <laughs> Lazar, that fight sequence, they end up over the skate patch with mm-hmm. the acid bath. And they end up falling down in there. But Sheila. Doesn't one of them creatures throw the switch or something? No, she well do the yeah the, she one of the cre- have done it. No, 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 yeah the creatures do. Yeah. And then what happens is uh, the only two people alive now is the detective and Sheila. Right. Lazar goes down. Lorca, he's hanging on for dear life, but he ain't gonna hold on much longer. And he tells Sheila, "Take care of my babies." In that whole scene, Ted, I was going, "Why don't the detective and Sheila pull pull him up?" She couldn't. He's sitting like this. Maybe he's already. How I, we don't know how deep that pit is. Maybe he's already burning up. Yeah, that's what I. I know. That's what I assume because uh, you can see. I, I smoke thought it was crazy. Out. The way he was hanging on the edge. There's no way they couldn't pull him up out of that little escape hatch. I took it as he was already burning up, like his legs were already burning. Well, up. Sheila's there, and when he did eventually, Lorca fall down through that pit. Mm-hmm. Sheila's there, and she goes down, and she's halfway stuck her head in there. Breathing all this acidic vapor I know. You think up her sinuses. The lungs. Well, maybe it cleaned out her Cleaned the sinuses, her sinuses. Burn the yeah. lungs. Yeah, it could That'd have done clear that. out the, the Rona. Oh, but I can't think of it. Hold <laughs> on. Get, let's give a second to Sheila. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, she's uh, uh, smelling that, and then, you know, th- they're gone, and she decides... Her and the detective, like, what do we do? How do we get the uh, creatures? I ain't sticking around here no more. Get Taking the creatures, care of these stupid ass things. So she tempts the creatures with this, uh, like, this is the way out. They this were trying to, to figure out. out. Only Sheila the pit. and Doctor Lorca knew the key code. The acidic pit. Because when he locked them up in that room, key code he had this. some big security system where, like, you know, all the windows and yeah. doors are locked. Yeah. And this key code would open it, and so all the monsters they want to get out. So they're coming closer, coming closer, coming. And then closer. she grabs some like sheet or something like that and just whoo and pushes them all down in the acidic bath or whatever it is right not knowing that you know they came from toxic or not toxic waste sewage treatment well, i don't they're anyways probably used to a hostile environment anyways they way. end up the detective leonard and sheila leaving together leaving together and she thinks well i, don't, I gotta hit the one ads i maybe i'll be good as a private detective yeah maybe I, you and i work together and maybe i'll be the brains and you be the muscle or something like that yeah, so, no she said you be the brains and i'll be the muscle yeah whichever she's you know, a tough chick i don't know which one would and as be they're what, driving but, away you know. we see the little keyhole into the trunk and somehow pee there's hole. those creatures see a little pee hole the keyhole keyhole pee hole pee hole yeah and we see that the creatures are in the trunk yeah, they're so riding. They, in the they're two, riding away in the two with them. It took them to leave. They got out of the toxic vat of acid <laughs> and somehow got the trunk open. Got in there. Yeah, closed the trunk. And that's how how the movie kind of ends there. And just so you know, I mean, Doctor Lorca, he does return, although it would be thirteen years later in Demonic Toys Two. 
which I've seen. Doctor Lorca's in that yeah, film as well. Yeah, we'll eventually get. Which to I him. saw that before I saw Hideous, so I didn't really get the whole Doctor Lorca thing. But yeah, now, now you do the whole Doctor Lorca. Thing. Uh, Dan Breaker, they probably needed to wash off the stank anyhow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, no. So, uh, yeah, that's hideous. another little fun nineteen ninety seven movie. Not not one of the top tier. No, but not uh, the top tier. there's some things in it that make it at least watchable and fun. Yeah, and uh, Sheila. Yeah, you know, it, it's it's full moon. So you when there you were, go in, you know what to expect. Yeah, it's one of those movies. You definitely know what to expect, especially for coming from a nineties full moon mm-hmm. feature. It, it's typical of of. That decade. I mean, what they put out. I mean, everything if you got the kinda... Tubi app, you can watch it for free. There's no reason. I mean, they've got a whole full moon section. Watch all the movies. Yeah, watch that. Watch them all. You watch know all the movies. So, uh, yeah. Questions? Yeah. But, but, <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, no. That, that's, um, yeah, another full moon feature under our belt. Um, I, I we're have we're trying idea... to get the attention of Charles Band, so he'll hire us to just review all his films. Well, I have an idea for next week, and, oh, and wow. we may do a full on commentary next all week. All right. But, full um, moon, baby. Well, we'll talk about it after uh, the show Full here. Moon. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's that's another yeah, yeah. one. That's another one. Yeah, 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 boy. In in the the shelves of our list of movies we've done. Yeah, you know. In our list of movies. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. You know, we're the show that dares to do <laughs> the movies that no one else will touch. Yeah, we we do shit. You I know. mean, you know. Well, you every know. now and then we do something. You know. Really hey, good. Death Wish shows up the at death, the end. The Death Wish is here. At the right. end. What's going on here? Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. What's going on, Death Wish? Hey. All hail. Hey, I had a fantastic time. He said I've seen half of Hideous. Which half? Uh, the, I, I would... You know what? Sheila, I think, should have would have bought, took you through most of the movie, but... Um, <laughs> But, um, yeah, yeah, no, no, um, I did a great uh, casual commentary with uh, Eric, the Death Twitch. Um, Another Charles Band movie. Yes, yes. Ghoulies 2. Ghoulies Electric 2, man. Boogaloo. Well, you know what, technically, it's it's it was a different, it was an MGM film. Oh, was Charles Band, was he not associated with the second Ghoulies? No, I no, can't remember. He, he was, he had to do with it. Albert Band I'm did I'm sure he was a... in the credits. I think, sure. was Albert Band the director, I think, of that movie? It's a... But it was a Charles Band production. As long as there are bands involved, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll watch the movie. Yeah, it, no, it's Ghoulies too. I think they should get an honorary. Hell. He should get an honorary hell, Oscar. Charles Band. Well, Eric, Star on the Hollywood Walk. Eric's seen the first half. the The second half is better than the first half. You, <laughs> you got to finish it. But no, anyways. Um, but yeah, yeah, no, um, yeah, you came at the end here, but See, he um, didn't want us to spoil it, man. He, he watched a little bit so he could get in, and, and now, <laughs> now we're all done, man. So. Yeah, yeah. So hey, go check out the casual commentaries. Um, next week we'll see what we do. Look forward to Saturday, this Saturday night. Uh, What's the tri- Saturday trivia night? night. Uh, I'll be taking uh, doing Halloween six. We are working through them all. Wait, hold up. Are you doing theatrical cut or producer's cut or both? Not doing. It's a trivia night, Ted. Yeah, trivia. They're two very it's different movies. It's just of movies. the movie. It's everybody's going to start movie. asking you shit about the producer. Mainstream. Cut, no, I'm asking the questions. Yeah, well, they're gonna, they're going to answer the questions. It's going to cause confusion. So how about that? How you like that? Um, so yeah, there you go. Well, you then guys. you should throw them off by asking them questions about the producer's cut. Oh, of the theatrical. And I got something very uh, cool to look forward to here coming up very soon. What we got? Um, I'll just say there'll be a new series with Lockdown Larry. Lockdown. Okay. Coming real soon. I came up with that name. Real soon. <laughs> I do give you credit. My that was, only was, contribution to, uh, uh, to Zeno's <laughs> show. <laughs> no, that, that's going to be very interesting. It's um, hard to come up with names. I'm always but be- Lockdown you know what? I, I, Larry. I usually come up with the names for like when we've done other shows and things. I, I'll usually have a good idea for a name. And then, you know, then you take it and go. Run it. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you, you. You know, we've we've done like an old time movie comedy show. We've done. Yeah, yeah. Make it the nuts. monster thing. That was my idea when we first started off. Well, I wanted to do monster. You wanted kids. to do monster kids. Monster. You, kids, you wanted to name the channel Monster Kids, and yes. you know. I don't know. Ugg with the teasers already. Ah. Well, Dam breaker. Um, hey, hit my Patreon up. 
and you'll get exclusive access to uh, Lockdown Larry. Uh, oh, it's going to be a Patreon as, as the news comes. If I get more than one Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> but, woo-hoo! Confetti yeah. shoots. Choo, choo. Maybe we should have a friggin', I don't know. You should have had a toothathon for, for your, <laughs> when you had your dental work. You could have done a whole show, tie one of them rags around your head. And, <laughs> like the good old days. You know, and, uh, yeah. truth of fun. I hope there will be lots of cursing, says Eric the Death Twitch. Um, yeah, no, it'll be, you, you, you'll really like it. It's, it, oh God, I don't want to give nothing away until it he comes. He has no idea what he's doing with it yet, that's why. No, no, I know exactly <laughs> what I'm doing, but it should be really soon too, but next couple days. But anyways, um, I guess I should just get out of here. What, what the hell? I'm, Lockdown Larry going crazy. Lockdown Larry I've been in this crazy. house for four months and I'm <laughs> going crazy. I need to talk movies. Mm-hmm. Um, anyways, <laughs> Yeah, let, let me get out of here. Uh, thanks for everybody that showed up. I appreciate it. Hello. Um, until until whenever I do my next stream. Um, I'll be, be doing something real soon. Saturday trivia, and then we're back next Tuesday. Tuesday. Same bat time, same bat channel. Yeah, so there you go. 